Hello, Thorns and Darts here. Um, back with another video today. I'm going to be talking about my day one of the development tour. So, um, I'm at the PDC development tour in Barnsley, uh, events number five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think because there's two every day Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They've crammed it in a bit because of uh, COVID 19, because um, we missed a few of the events across the year. Uh, I think these are the last ones, and the World Youth Qualifier is on Monday as well. So uh, a lot of people trying to qualify for that as well. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'd summarise my day one for you guys. So if there's anyone out there that's just interested in what happens, because it's not something everyone sees unless you've played it. And um, if there's any youngsters out there just wondering whether it's something for them, I'll just tell you how I found it, and maybe you guys will decide to come along as well. So let's start at the beginning. Woke up at about seven o'clock this morning, uh, set an alarm, got showered, got, I've already got my shirt on, and then uh, went down for, I went Premier Inn, so I went and got breakfast, got a Premier Inn full English, <sighs> very nice. Uh, I had two bacon, two sausage, uh, beans, hash browns, uh, and some toast, but uh, I wasn't really a fast eater, so I took my time and then I realised what the time was and um, went and got um, went and got ready up back up to the hotel and I actually left a bit of toast so if you're watching a bit of toast I'm sorry I left you um, <laughs> and basically then we walked down to the Barnsley Metrodome from here so it was about 15 minute walk not bad but it was cold it was like pretty early in the morning it was quite brisk but uh, it's quite a nice wake up kept me awake uh, in the morning you get to Barnsley uh, at the Metrodome and there's a side entrance you have to go through because of um, the restrictions is a different entrance and we went in and um outside you queue up to sign a questionnaire and get scanned in and uh, have your temperature taken the questionnaire basically says have you been abroad have you been here have you been there um yes and no and then they check it make sure everything's good take your temperature make sure you've got no symptoms and then you're through uh you go come through an interesting fact for some reason here was there's three practice boards when you walk in on your left, which is also a bowling alley. So uh, I actually practiced on a bowling alley for darts. It was so weird. There was just uh, at the start of the bowling alley, you know, when your family sitting, you type in your names, like Uncle Rob. Um, that was an hockey. It was so strange, but it was it was really cool. Like I said, I played darts on a bowling alley. Not many people have done that. <laughs> And then you come through and you have to find a seat. Now, seating was quite limited uh, where they all had darts. Usually they split the room in half and they'd have tables in the middle, but you have to spread them out at these events now. So um, there wasn't like set tables. So there was tables there, but there wasn't many of them. Uh, there wasn't many chairs. So we ended up actually basically sitting on the table with our stuff sort of in the middle. So not ideal, but, you know, it happens. Uh, I'll get there earlier tomorrow <laughs> so I can get a seat. And, um, yeah, you get there, you get practised, you say hello to everyone. Everyone had to wear a mask at all times unless you were practising. So um, that was quite interesting. And then you, you you wait for the draw then, basically. First of all, they stuck the board. Owen Binks, Mr Big Feet on the live stream. You may have seen him. <laughs> he... Um, puts all the sheets up on the wall and it tells you what board and when darts connect um, all syncs up you can then see your board number from the bit of sheet and then you can go through and see who you're playing and um, yeah they do that about I think it was like 10 o'clock and then we started playing at 20 past 10 they announce all the names and who's chalking luckily there was exactly seven people on every board um, I know very lucky and that seven person got a bye in the first round and was also chalking the first game. So very easy to sort out. And it started pretty quick. All the games sort of fly through. I was third on uh, in my first game. So I had a good little time of practice and just see what was going on. Um, and I drew a guy called Ben West. Uh, he's a good player. Uh, but he beat me in my last 64 game, which would have won me £50 uh, back in Germany. And I was like, ah, oh. and I tweeted it before I played. I was, um, the other day, I basically, Ben West had done really well in a competition locally. And I was like, oh, Ben West, oh, I should have got £50 if it wasn't for Ben West. And um, I then drew him, which is just typical luck. It's like Matthew Edgar drawing Darius Labanaskus in the first round of the Worlds again. 
and I lost again, just like that. So sad times. And uh, yeah, and once you're done, you then chalk for the the next game on. So you stay around, you don't leave. Uh, they're very very strict on that. Um, don't go anywhere because they're not going to wait around for you to go and chat to everyone. So you're straight on there, chalk that game on Darts Connect. Super easy. Well, it, it can be. Um, I uh, I didn't have any tough games to chalk, but there's some of the big top names. Uh, they set up shots really nicely. They hit you know different troubles to set up a nice shot. Whereas um, when you're chalking down at the pub, not everyone's doing that. So uh, yeah, it's good experience for me on that level. And then uh, yeah, I finished that game. Went walked around, watched some of the games. People like Ted, Keen Barry, Martin Schindler. Um, Ryan Meekles, just some awesome darts going on. So even if you, you go out first round, you can still enjoy it as a darts player. Just go around watching some games, learning from watching people. It was, it was really good. Uh, it's like watching the darts, but um, it's not live, obviously, but it's just still nice to see some people in action. Like Adam, Adam Gavlas, uh, Keen Barry, they were just on fire in the morning. And then uh, we got to... The afternoon so it's quite a long gap something i struggled with in germany was the keeping um topped up on food on on water um it was a lot easier this time i bought a load of snacks um people on twitter were telling me what um uh, you know things they'd use to help i've messaged some players and they basically said you know things like protein bars bananas um try and avoid caffeine because you go up and down you don't want to be on the down when you're playing so i avoided that and um, just had some like snacky bits in between Got some squashies, things like that, just to keep me keep me on, keep me perked up a bit. Um, and yeah, and in the end, Kevin Doitz won the first event. He played super well. Um, who did he beat in the final? I cannot remember. Someone good. It might have been Adam Gavlas actually. I can't remember. But uh, yeah, there was a super quality day in the morning. And once that had finished, they'd already done the draw for the next one. So you knew where you were playing uh, before everyone else was um, started. And then they obviously announce it, tell you to go and start. And then um, I was first on the last board, um, I think board number 28. And oh, I was shocking, absolutely um, poop. I uh, don't know what happened, but I just couldn't focus. I couldn't throw straight. And then... When you're not throwing straight, you then try and correct yourself. You're like, what am I doing wrong? Maybe I'm standing like this. Maybe I'm standing like that. Maybe I'm my arms up here. And it just didn't work out very well. I managed to get a leg, um, but it was a very scrappy leg. I My first game, I didn't really have a chance. My Ben West averaged 80. Um, he played super well. I uh, didn't really get many chances. I had one or two, but um, scoring-wise, it was all him. And in my second game, it was the opposite. I didn't really have a challenge scoring. The, the opponent wasn't scoring very much, but when he wasn't, I wasn't there with him. If he scored 26, I was scoring 11. I wasn't punishing those mistakes, which is something um, I took away from that game. But every game I played today, I tried to take something away, which is the, the joy of the development tour. Uh, it's not the winning tour. You're here to try and get better. There are people here that will win. There's, you know, 256 people here, you know, 255 are going to lose. Um, so, you know, if you're thinking about doing the development or don't think that I'm not going to win, what's the point? Think of it as by playing the players that do well enough to win, you'll become better because you'll adapt to that and you'll, you'll learn things from those people. So, yeah, that was my day one. And then because of COVID rules, uh, once you'd finished the whole day, you, everyone was sort of, not escorted, but recommended to sort of leave within sort of fifteen minutes to clear everything out. So that was um, that was a good uh, a good way of not having too many people in the same area with um, the social distance and stuff. So yeah, that was my day. Really, not the best day performance for me wise, but considering I haven't played competitive dance since February, I was quite happy in the morning. Uh, just disappointed in the afternoon because it was it was a I felt like it was a, a winnable game um, from how I played in the morning. Um, and the opponent, I just gave so much time to do anything really, he was missing and having more time after that. So yeah, happy with the first day, got day two coming up now. So uh, I'm going to go get some food, um, 
and then get, get an early night, get ready for the morning. Uh, I've been practicing a little bit on my travel board. I'll just show you that quick. Uh, nice little board set there. No surround, quite brave. But yeah, oh, hello. Yeah, so that was my day one. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll do a day two as well. You never know, it might go well tomorrow. And uh, I'll be catching you guys soon. Ciao.